Hello guys and welcome back to another Riotech Corporation video. Today we're back in the Art of War 3. We're doing another PvP battle for the series. It's going to be a special battle. It's a 2 versus 2. It's Commander Corley and Nichols versus Derek and Flex1990. So we're about to jump right on into the battle here. Y'all stay tuned. Here we go. All right, battle has started. We're gonna throw up uh, what we need to get going here, and then we will start headed out. Right now we've got two barracks, a power station, a supply center, and another supply center. We're gonna get the infantry training here. And then get them sent out real quick, like as quick as we can. All right, so we got two guys coming out. I'm gonna send them in a couple different directions here. Got one going towards the Allies' base. Then I'm gonna send the other one south. We got two more popped out here. Got some more training. We're gonna follow the one going south. Looks like we got a cargo there. Gonna send him back to get him. And now he's going after this one that he just spotted. Yep, there we go. Gonna go ahead and continue sending him south now. At this point, got us another box there. Go ahead and grab it. Send him up the hill here. See if we got another one up here. Oh, looky there! Didn't you know it? All right, he's gonna continue south. And while he's spotting the enemy down there, we've got a group of soldiers up here that are ready to go as soon as we are. Got a little one versus one going on down there, which we uh, we take control of. Grab this cargo box before the enemy can. All right. Nice little spotting game going on here. I don't know where this guy's trying to go to. Go up this incline here and see what we found. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Just what we thought. Doesn't look like he's got much yet. And at this point, we're mobilizing the force. We're going to do an assault rush on this guy since it's so early in the game. See what we can get out of it. Yeah. All right. Here they come. Wonderful little group of assault while I'm still pushing them out. Went ahead and upgraded to level 2 there. Got my guys coming into his base. Right now I'm causing damage to myself. His barracks is now gone. Mobilize a little further around. Make sure he ain't got nothing else hiding around here. I 
So as you can see, red was very quick to take out. Very early on, go ahead and back those assaults back so that they don't take any more damage from themselves. Boy, those grenades, they'll, they'll do something to them. It's like they like to stand in front of them grenades, I swear. Alright, we hit, went ahead and popped a uh, infantry attack boost. And we look and see we got teammate doing an assault rush as well by the looks of it. He should be rushing yellow, but he's not. At this point, we've just got a little bit of the base scouted. Looks like a war factory there. A couple of barracks. Yeah, I bet his HQ is right here. At this point, red is now gone. All that's left is a couple more buildings. HQ's gone. He's just down to a couple supply centers and a power station. There, and at this point there's no sense in blue sending reinforcements to me because I no longer need it never needed it red didn't put up much of a fight at this point you also notice that there's nothing going on at my base no defenses nothing I've got my entire squad down here. So I'm going to leave one behind. Stay here just in case he decides to pop back. Then we're going to mobilize against Jillian. At this point my teammate says good job. Right now we have the upper hand. And my assaults are going to go ahead and go. And I'm telling him to attack as well. And notice that he's got a couple armadillos, couple coyotes coming out up there they come around to attack from behind he's got a defensive force here as well that I run smack right into and it's about this point here that I realize that I'm not going to be able to rush yellow as well But I go ahead and finish scouting out his base the best I can with my remaining guys. And I was correct where the HQ was. Back up at the base, we're going to pop some more assaults out, just as a precaution. And that guy does not make it, just trying to get him back to the, back to Blue's base at least. At this point, start thinking well I'm gonna have to do a hammer rush so 
go ahead and get my salt factory going. All while producing more salts. Go ahead and start popping up a couple defense buildings. Going up to level two so I can start pulling out the hammers. All while blue is trying to defend his base. I'll go ahead and pop a supply. Get down blue. All right. At this point, I'm also thinking I need to go air too. So I went ahead and built an air aviation factory. That's right. I'm gonna go vertex. Going vertex. Go ahead and build another construction yard over this way, right here, so that I can pop a defensive building here, so that they can't scout my aviation factory and know where I'm going with it. And I start producing some hammers. Go ahead and move my salts over to this hole here just in case. So I have this defensive building here and this one being built. Didn't want anybody getting by. Alright, got our first hammer coming out. Go ahead and pop another event supply. Still got this little guy down here by himself, keeping an eye on Red, uh, Red's base, just in case, see if he pops back up. Now, right now, I'm telling my uh, partner that I'm going to go for air, letting him know where I'm headed. He confirms it and tells me that he's going to go build some tanks. So at this point, I mobilize my infantry. I'm going to send them down south. Noticing that Red is trying to sneak through. That pops another tank. And just waiting on them tanks to go in. Here comes number four. And we're going to go up to level three on the HQ so that we can get the airfield. Popping another supply here. As you can see I've only got three supply centers during this battle. Went ahead and popped me a cyclone too so that I can scout out the water real quick since I don't have a shipyard or anything over here. And I went ahead and mobilized my hammers. Gonna send them down here to the infantry division right here so that they can guard. 
Out pops my cyclone. And we're going to scout the water now. And lo and behold, yes, there are supply crates out in the water. So with that in mind, I know I need to get out there and pick them up. But I don't know how many are out there yet. So I'm going to send my cyclone around the map and open up that entire water feature. Go ahead and pop in another supply there. And we throw in the shipyard. Looks like yellow's trying to attack blue or at least scout. And I knew he would try. Go out, I posted one there. Got the cyclone doing his circles here yard is almost complete right now I'm out of power because I'm upgrading the aviation factory oh. got a little coyote coming in but he gets taken out by the bunker a little further in than I wanted him to but Go ahead and start getting me a Delta coming. There we go. Well, then at this point I noticed that there is a sniper tower right there. And I know he's got his base defenses up. So I know I do not need to send in these guys. Now I'll put in another bunker here and another power station there and I'm grabbing all the containers I can in the water. And my airfield's going in. Now we've got two heavy assaults posted up down here with the bunker just in case he tries to send another coyote up, up that way. And Blue looks like he tried to attack. Ran into another sniper tower there. We'll take fire from this armadillo and group. <laughs> Very quick. And for some reason, he decided to post up a group here. Not sure why. So he's sending in another scout. Oh, I've got another coyote coming in. Make that two coyotes. That's what I got the heavy assaults for. Bye bye, coyote. Ooh, send a third one my way. Almost took out that heavy. 
And at this point, we've got one vertex ready. Go ahead and get a couple more coming. Spin that gold. Get that aviation touching on chain. Now we've got our Delta taking care of some business down south. Going after them cargo supply crates. Much needed crates. Uh, we got two vertexes in now. three like to see them vertexes <laughs> sending mr. Delta up the river here and then back out Another aviation production. Decided to send in a couple guys just to see if I could scout it out. And yes, he has got a defensive line. Multiple towers, multiple. Oh yeah, big defensive line. And I know. Vertex time. Tell my partner to scout point P, tell him that I'm ready. And the first thing I do is mobilize these guys. And then I get my vertexes on the way. To try, try and drop any of his defenses. Start knocking out all his defenses right there, so I have a easy way in. And Blue has mobilized his entire force to assist. While I send in my little ground force to <laughs> play with Yellow a little bit. Keep his attention on this side. Right now my vertex is refueling. All right, that little bitty force that I had is now gone. So Blue's gonna have to take care of it. Went ahead and popped the servicing bonus. Try and get my vertexes back in the sky. And here they come for another pass. Ah, he's got porcupine in there. Wondering where them rockets come from. I focus on getting all the power supplies, power stations down. My vertexes went back. 
So now his base defenses are down. And blue has his weight. While my vertexes are refueling. Yeah. Knock out that HQ. Almost there. Gonna send in my vertexes for one last pass. And one final building. Went ahead and went and checked red just in case because I had left that area alone. Didn't have nobody over there, but we did win. We did knock them out of the park. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle as much as I did. It was a wonderful two versus two. Thank you, Nichols, for that wonderful teamwork. Derek Flex 1990. Good luck next time, guys. It was a great battle. Really enjoyed it. Thank you guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell so that you get notified when I send out another video. Until next time guys, this is Commander Corley signing out. guys i want to uh go ahead and throw this out there uh, i want to appreciate you for watching my videos and at the same time i want to get the word out for uh, swifty saloon my buddy uh, he started up his own uh, business and he's making these wonderful looking figures and uh, wonderful looking blocks for dungeons and dragons i believe um, many different creatures many different out of ground top areas you got your dice um, all kinds of little odds and ends. You need to check him out. Swifty Saloon on Facebook. And uh, hit him up and tell him that I sent you there. He might even throw you a discount. Again, thanks for watching. And as always, this is Jonathan with the Riotic Corporation. Until next time.